Hello, my heart is, and dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome tonight to our TikTok Live. How amazing is that? Fantastic. We did pop up earlier just to say hi to every single one of you. And, uh, of course, a lot of you will have been watching the football, all that sort of thing, and you won't quite be up to speed with what's happening in the world of McClue. Nevertheless, do not worry about that. That's not... The problem, of course, because we're all here together and I've no doubt the word will leak out very, very quickly that Scotty McClue is live just for you on TikTok Live and that we are here welcoming you to our evening pop-up. Excellent stuff, dinky-doo. I am Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Hashtag Floatai all in capitals. How amazing is that? Hashtag Flutai. And here we are. Everybody's joining us, which is wonderful. Welcome, welcome, Bob. Good to have you with us. And thanks for joining us tonight. Scotty McClue, just for you on TikTok saying dinky do. How's your day been, says Suzuki. My day has been outstanding, Suzuki. If you're scrolling through, guys, always stop Right now, this is the big one. This is the one for you. No more scrolling required because you have arrived at TikTok's top talk show. That's the one for you. So you don't need to scroll past. We don't do any trolling, of course. Any trolls, then you can pass on. Pure dinky do, man. Oh, Bob. Pure dinky do actual, I say. Uh, fantastic stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every single one of you, Suzuki. That's very good that you've managed to join us. And of course, all the scrollers can stop now because they have arrived. Remember to tap the portrait top left and enjoy every single one of the TikTok videos. They're all for you. Sent with love, I say. Are you all right, mate? Hey, dinky do. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, Tom to go. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Yo, how's it going? Says FIFA. FIFA, excellent stuff. Is the football finished yet? What time does the football finish? I think we should be told. It's very, very important. Do you drink the beer? No, no, I, I drink the water. <laughs> I don't do the alcohol. Dinky you know, if you're scrolling, stop now. It's not all right, mate. I'm half left. Are you half left? Which half of you is left? And which half of you has remained? <laughs> see what I just did there, you see? Two can play at that game. Follow us as soon as you can. Nice cap, lad. I thank you, Ethereal. Very, very much appreciate it. It's a very famous hat. 29 years old this week since this hat first made an appearance in national media. How amazing is that? 29 years. Is that not absolutely incredible? Uh, what would you do... If uh, when just a wee minute, what? I don't know what you're on about, Onion. That's very, very strange, very weird guy. There's one or two weirdos joining us, guys. Um, so there we are. Hello, um, do you know Dagenham Heathway? Well, I know Dagenham, of course, because uh, I remember that was the center of car manufacturing. Scotty, I like the joke about the three lawyers in the courtroom. Did I like that one? Shakarone, first thing on a Monday morning. Scotty, you got the hat from Hogs of Fife. Yes, I did. One of the finest outfitters in the world. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Ethereal. This is what we want. Right, who can tell us where the football finished? Does Dundee exist or is it a figment of our imagination? No, it exists. I could take you around every single square centimeter of it. Wonderful stuff. Yes, the home of discovery. That's what it's all about. You get yourself up to Dundee and have a good look. Travel along the King's Way. You can't beat that. The King's Way. What are your thoughts on the subway, the train? Oh, well, we love it. I used to think that they went very, 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 very fast because that's what it feels like. Apparently, they do about 15 miles an hour. Is that right? Am I correct in that? Hello, Scotty from Kilwinning. We love Kilwinning. Uh, what time is it in Scotland? It's 22 minutes past nine o'clock. So don't you be around too late. What time is it where you are, Ryan? I think you should spill, spill the beans. Uh, we're sending good vibes, lad. Ethereal, sending good vibes to you, lad. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, wonderful, we like that. 
Okay, the news, Scotty McClure. There's a wonderful Maria Knight giving me TikToks. Maria, you're very generous. I thank you for 10 beautiful TikToks. Uh, do you know Steve Bay Holiday Park? Yes, I do. Uh, wonderful stuff. The Zabardinic sisters, is that a figment of our collective consciousness? Now, Cobell, are you going to be silly tonight? Because if you're going to be silly, we're not having it. All right. These places exist as well, you know. The Scottish team are infecting England. No patch. The Scottish team are dealing with the infection. That's what it's all about. Now then, what have we got here? Maria Knight, dinky-doo, thank you so much for my 10 TikToks. Hello, Scotty. Luxury cars. I'm always glad when you join us. It's interesting the difference in audience when uh, when we do early or late, you know, quite incredible. They are different shows altogether. Can you give us an update from Dingley Dell, hashtag float eye, all uppercase, first lord of the internet? Yes, indeed. Uh, people are dancing with the fairies at the bottom of Dingley Dell, I noticed. So we don't want to disturb them. Uh, if a fish eats a fish, does that mean the fish is a fish finger? Yes, the Bush Emperor. How very interesting. Uh, you're the kind of person that sits down beside you on the bus. Hello from Lithuania. Thank you, do. We love Lithuania. How marvellous is that? Scotty, thank you, do. Grapefruit. Hey, remember? Yes, we all remember. I live in Romford. Classic Scotty. There we are. If you have sweaty socks, phone the NHS 24 to troll a dafty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Scotty, what time did you come on tonight? Just about uh, 10 minutes ago. So do not panic. You haven't missed uh, anything except 10 minutes of Scotty McClue, and you've already suffered enough punishment, so I'm not going to give you a row. Uh, hello, Scotty. Sorry I haven't been on the past few days. Hashtag Floatai. Ryan, not at all. No bother. All right, Scotty from Greenock. Willie. We love Greenock. Yes, we absolutely adore it. Uh, do you like philosophy? I am the master of philosophy, although I don't have an M Phil, but there we are, or a D Phil. What about that if you are in Oxford? Each time I talk to Scotty, I feel the knowledge makes me greater. Shakaroni, we build together on our knowledge. We learn together with our knowledge. Scotty, the Scottish Winston Churchill. I thank you, Gucci. Thank you, too. Yes, so fight them. <laughs> can I get a shout out for my other half? Charlene. Of course you can, McDoug. A big shout out to Charlene from McDoug. Did you study at Oxford? Uh, no, but I know a lot of people who did. I know it very well. I know, I know the uh, city very well indeed. Uh, do you know where Jubilee Park is in Scotland? Yes, the Woodhall Spa. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed, that would be um, Port Glasgow. How about that? <laughs> and you'll see, if you scroll down my TikToks, the TikTok videos, you'll see I've done a piece from the Comet. Get yourself there. I'm from Oxford. Are you, Shannon? Fantastic. Do you know the Sheldonian Theatre? There we are. What's a master of philosophy? Is that like a doctor? Who's boss? No, that would be a D Phil. That would be a doctor of philosophy. This is a master, an M Phil. So there we are. Uh, fantastic. Yay or nay, independent Scotland. I think some of the people that want an independent Scotland are dodgy because uh, they're muttering about republics and stuff. So they're not good news. But uh, economically, Scotland would do very well with its own money. Uh, you demand I am Cobell. Hello, Scotty Lenzok. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. How amazing is that? Evening, you wonderful man. Susie, baby, are you just not amazing? Amazing with the emphasis on the zing. <laughs> it's sad, but in Lithuania now, 23, 27, so I'm very tired. I guess I go to sleep. Good night. 
you go to sleep, my dear Lithuanian friend, because it's 27 minutes past 11. Oh, and I get very tired. My eyelid, they get heavy. Fantastic. Uh, there's a pub in Oxford, G.R.R. Tolkien wrote Lord of the Rings in. Yes, Shannon. And of course, you also had C.S. Lewis, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, The Tales, The Chronicles of Narnia. Yes, thank you to Scotty, enjoying the Euros. I only watch very select games like Scotland, England, that sort of thing. I've had a rough day, Lenzok, of course. Scotty, you're looking very dapper indeed recently. I hope you've had a fantastic rest of knit day. Yes, a lovely knit day, as my grandmother knitted me. My boy, Scotty, back at it again, almost 4.30 p.m. in New York now. Bob McElroy, we love you in New York, you lord of the internet. Scotty, the Battery Park, what's your thoughts? I'm no Judas sale or ever ready. Well, Battery Park, there would be a battery there, meaning a gun at the time of the Napoleonic Wars, and just above Battery Park was the fort, Fort Matilda. You see, have you got it? There you are. Also, just beside Battery Park was the um, torpedo factory that would have been attached to Woolwich Arsenal. And a lot of the houses along Eldon Street were occupied by people who'd come up from London to work there uh, in the First World War. Interesting, isn't it? What did you graduate with in the photo behind you? That's a Bachelor of Arts in Dramatic Studies. I don't tend to watch the Euros. I prefer the pound sterling. <laughs> Shakarini, I see what you just did there. How very, very good. Maria Knight has sent me two beautiful finger hearts. Uh, did you have a wonderful birthday yesterday, Susie Babe? I had the most gorgeous birthday yesterday. Just beautiful. Absolutely. Wonderful birthday, Dinky you know, It's me, Scotty McClue. Uh, we need the sun to come back again, Scotty. Yes, a wonderful newspaper. Oh, no, I see. Sorry, you mean we need the sun to come out. Yes, it's been a miserable day. Uh, a good fortnight every two weeks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Did you enjoy Braveheart? What I remember of it, yes, it was excellent. Uh, you should be made the king of the new Scotland with Cowinning as its capital with uh, a pearly dinosaur. Well, what about the one-eyed dinosaur, the uh, Jothinkisaurus? That might be the one. Uh, Scotty, do you like the Ricky Fulton doing the Reverend I Am Jolly? Yes, but just before that, the first one was not the Reverend I Am Jolly, it was the Reverend David Goodchild. That was his first one. The one, uh, I think, in the sketch at STV playing Late Call. So check that out. The Reverend David Goodchild. And out of that wonderful, brilliant character came, uh, came the Reverend I Am Jolly. They, they called him I Am Jolly. In fact, I'm wondering if... Yes, I'm just wondering if one started off in a different series. I think it would all be Scotch and Rye. I can't remember, but do check that out. Scotty, what's your view on our new aircraft carriers? Well, they're very, very large. Very large. Do you know, my old friend used to fly fairy swordfish off the Ark Royal in the Second World War. And I've always wondered, I've always had a picture in my head of what it would be like from his description. And a few weeks ago, somebody posted a picture of fairy swordfish flying off the Ark Royal. And I thought, I'll bet you that's Uncle Jack in one of them. Fantastic. Wonderful. Scotty, is the countryside becoming the new city? Well, you see, Shakaruni, before the Industrial Revolution that brought people into the cities, we had the Agrarian Revolution, which was, of course, uh, intense farming and the production of uh, meat and veg and wool and leather and milk and all these things that came from the countryside. 
and um, the money was in the country, which is why you got the big country houses. And the more intensively they were farmed, uh, they became big, big estates. And being Britain or being Scotland, England, Northern Ireland and Wales, beneath the surface, particularly in Scotland, England and Wales, beneath the surface, a lot of these big country estates found that they had coal seams. For instance, uh, Wentworth Woodhouse in uh, Rotherham, between Rotherham and Barnsley and Sheffield, Sheffield, um, you know, perhaps the biggest country house in Europe, and it had the Barnsley seam running right under it. So after they'd made their fortunes in the agrarian revolution, they then started, they found they had an income coming from the industrial revolution because of the desire for coal, Sheffield, steel, smelting, iron. Get the picture, you see? And uh, more money came in from that. So the money was in the countryside. And then in the Industrial Revolution, the money moved to the cities, the factories. Are you with me? Scotty, have you heard the Billy Connolly song, I Wish I Was in Glasgow? Yes, I have. I love it, Eddie boy. Follow us, guys. As soon as you come on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the false lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, hashtag flow tie. Yes, false lord of the internet. So there we are. Nothing wrong with that. Father of feminism and the world's most humble man. Just in case anybody thought I was sort of building my part, you know. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. It really is. Thank you for educating me, boss, Scotty. Most intelligent son. Not at all. Shakaroni, but it just gives you how things move and follow the money, and the money follows the people. Uh, dinky do, come and join us, folks, as soon as you join. Share, tell 10 to tell 10. Share this with every single one of your TikTokers. It's absurd that I've been here for six weeks. 600,000 people have seen me, and um, every single TikToker has yet to subscribe. So I feel if somebody's got a TikTok account, they should be following Scotty McClue. It's the right thing to do. I miss the Scottish water for the tap, Scotty. Any boy I know, because you're over in the flat bit, the fens there, the water's not quite so good. I was going to say the water's not quite so hot, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so has your kettle got a fair bit of chalk and fur in it? Do tell us, or is that mainly more of a London thing? You know, you look in the kettle and it's solid with chalk and fur. Um, my boy Josh sending you another 20 TikToks and said, sorry I missed your birthday. Not at all, Susie Babe. Say hi to Josh. Tell him not to be too late to Bobo's tonight because he's up early in the morning and to look after his mum big style. Fantastic. Thank you, Susie Babe, for sending me that. Do you remember Gordon Honeycomb? Yes, a wonderful newscaster and a little, um, shall, shall we say, he, uh, he was uh, devoid of hair on the head. <laughs> it was the opposite of her suit. <laughs> Cambridge gets lime scale in the kettle, but not Newmarket. Ah, yes. Does the going's good to soft at Newmarket? See what I just did there, Eddie Bar? Have an amazing day, Eva. Thank you very much. I saw you. Thank you, MC. Yes, indeed. What do you think of GB News? Well, I welcome any new media because what it does, this is what we find when Scotty McClue came to Scott FM, it's, it wakened up the market. The other stations appeared to be complacent at first. Oh, that won't bother us. <laughs> and then bang, suddenly they had to fight for their businesses when they'd had it all their own way for 20 years. You know, so 21 years, they'd been sitting there just uh, cleaning up the market. Then along came Scotty McClure and went, hiya, boys, this is how you do radio. Oh, bang. I think that's probably why I was got rid of in the end, because it was just too big. 
and too successful. Scotty, why did you stop wearing the fingerless gloves? Shakaruni, I have never, ever, ever stopped wearing fingerless gloves. Let me just show you, my boy. Let me show you, lad. There you go. What's stopping about that? <laughs> what is stopping about that, Shakaruni? Eh? If I'd stopped wearing the fingerless gloves, would I be able to do that? Eh? Would I? <laughs> they actually started because the newspapers were taking pictures of me in the middle of a winter's night, 12th of December, 1994. Fantastic. Really hope media doesn't progress too much to leave radio obsolete. I hope not, Tuck. You're absolutely 100% correct. I mean, I love radio. I mean, the internet is actually old technology compared with radio. And you'll find that so much of the internet is now going wireless. You see, it's catching up with what we've had for years. Shakaroni, have I made my point? Scotty McClure never gives up the fingerless gloves. <laughs> How amazing is that? Now, there we go. There's Angela asking me. Yes, think you do. You proved me wrong, buddy lad. No, no, not wrong. Just that I hadn't given them up. You see, there's nothing wrong about what you say and do. I bet they're from Hogs of Five as well. Correct. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm driving. Just uh, say it. Charge gone. Ah, oh, stuffy. What a shame. There we are. Point proven. Point proven. Shakaruni. I've always wanted to go to Scotland, and have you ever seen a Loch Ness Monster? Well, not a Loch Ness Monster. There's only the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie, and she's a pretty deep character, and she lies at the bottom of a very, very dark and deep, dark and deep loch. Dark and deep loch. Wonderful. What football team do you support? I don't support any financially. Thank you. What is Scotty McClure's favourite shoe? Ah, Bob. I used to get my shoes from a company called Churches. Yes. You see, the place that Britain produced its own shoes, no cheap imports, proper handmade leather shoes, Northampton. And I used to get my uh, shoes. They were Churches Light Tan Brogues. All my shoes came from church, and I also had the Oxford, the trads. Yes, indeed, and used to wear the Oxford in black with my suits, the pinstripe, and wonderful, the double breaster, on the Adams ale or tea tonight or apple cider vinegar. Now, I should be on the apple cider vinegar, but I'm on the Adams ale. Scotty. PC Ventures and Sergeant Blayton, Charlie, I have got to tell them, right, one of my favourite episodes of Artbeat, as I say Artbeat, it, uh, it, was, it was the one when uh, Blayton had retired and he'd left some papers that might not have been, you know, they might have been a problem for him and somebody discovered them. So he asked Alf if there was any way Alf could recover papers like, you see. Alf got papers and brought them up to Blaketon's house with his civvy coat on. And uh, Blaketon poured him a drum, you know, a little tot of whiskey like, and they, uh, they sat back in their armchairs and Blaketon says to Alf, well, Alf, I don't know what to say. Alf took his drum, he said, like this. He goes, just say now. <laughs> how beautiful is that? You know, how beautifully crafted is the whole of Heartbeat? And these actors worked so hard. I mean, they were away from home a lot filming, you know, tons and tons of filming. Yes, and Claude Greengrass and David. 
And what's McClue's pie? Shears in. Oh, huge, massive. Everybody loves a McClue's pie. Should the still game come back? Uh, it's up to the still gamers, I say. They always said Scotty McClue was the inspiration for still game. Is that not amazing? Greetings from the Black Forest in Germany. We love it. Yes, absolutely. I love your gâteau. Uh, Scotty, do you like Chinese or Indian food? What one's your favourite? I love them both. You know, I love any quality food, beautifully cooked and served. Yum, yum, gobble, gobble, chomp, chomp. That's the stuff. Yes, definitely. What's your What is the baker's favourite shoe? Loafers. I see what you just did there. <laughs> ah, why did the master baker have to make money? Because he needed the dough. Uh, Andy Chap, we are cap. Uh, <laughs> I like the Nike Air Max. Yes, good evening, Scotty. How are you? Uh, Lerwick Guy, I take it. Yes. Larwick Guy, Lord Larwick, we are amazing. How are things with you, sir? Please update. Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, Anthony. Do you remember the radio program called Mill on the Foss? Was it not Mill on the Floss? Tell me more, Angela. Mill on the Floss is a book by George Eliot, a lady, of course. You can always catch people out in English literature. When you say, yes, then we know about George Eliot. And somebody goes, oh, he was a great guy. <laughs> Scotty supports Elgin City and Forest Mechanics. Ken Tyler. Absolutely. Jackie asks, what advice to give someone who detests one of their relatives? Jackie, if somebody's got a problem with you, that's their problem. Absolutely. You just don't mix with them. Scotty, you're amazing. I love you. Maria, I love you. Fantastic. Thank you, do. Because you're in Yorkshire, I can't you? So you don't understand my story about Artmeet. That's it. Aye. Our Maria. Come on, lass. Uh, can't watch soap operas nowadays. So forced and filtered. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Oh, what has Maria just said to us there? That was amazing. Um, yeah, the problem is I wouldn't want to buy a house in Emmerdale. You know what I mean? Because you might get murdered or stolen from or, uh, uh, you know, uh, your body buried somewhere. You might get shot. Um, people would be lying to you. Somebody would be having an affair with you that you didn't know about. Ooh, ee. and the people that you trusted, the publicans, the farmers, the vicar. Oh, and uh, so there are, I know what you mean. I loved it when it were Emmerdale Farm like. Hi, right, Jack Lad. Uh, do you ever watch the movie I Married an Ex? No, I would never watch anything with that title, Bob. I just can't, I can't watch anything that's sort of horror, you know? There's a guy asking me to compare two whiskies. They're totally different whiskies. One is a blend and the other is a, is a West Coast malt. <coughs> so there we are, slightly different, you see. Hello from the Isle of Douglas. The Isle of Douglas. The Isle of Man. Douglas on the Isle of Man. Douglas on the Isle of Man. Hello from Denmark. We love you in Denmark. From Danska. Yeah. Copenhagen. The Little Mermaid. Uh, oh, guys, if you want to hear, I've composed. I've written, I've written a song, composed it, and uh, put it to the music of the accordion. It's called The Mermaid or Farewell to the Land. You'll get it on YouTube. It's Mr. Lerwick here. Yes. Leslie's doing... Doing okay? Yes, I hope. Fantastic. Um, Jackie, thanks. All the way from Lancashire. We love Lancashire, Jackie. Which part roughly? And I'll tell you all about it. Maria, that was applause that you sent. 
<laughs> you gave me the clap. <laughs> Fantastic. What do you get when you cross a sorceress and a millionaire? A very rich person. Shakaroni. I love it. What do you get when you cross a mute owl and a skunk? <clears throat> you get an animal that smells terrible but couldn't give a hoot. <laughs> we love it. There you are. Okay, for a J said, tell us a joke. I just have. Uh, what a friend we have in Jesus. Absolutely. Leslie's doing well. She's on the mend. She'll rest for day off. Thank God. Mr. Lerick, we thank God. Thank you. Uh, because I really was very concerned yesterday. Is a uh, Kadar a type of salami you're familiar with? Nope. Not familiar with that at all. But then, I'm not an expert on salami. Scotty, can you please give a big dinky-do? I can, Craig. So there we are. Okay, I won't buy a house there. I don't think so. The strong antibiotics are working. She scared us yesterday. Yes, indeed. And we were thinking we were all rooting for her and for you all day. The whole of the world. Whole of the world. Fantastic. Don't be fooled by the little figure up in the top right-hand corner. That turns into thousands. I'm amazed. <coughs> now, because people scroll, you see, they scroll. So they come and go all the time. I have some very dangerous places, Emmerdale, but my lord, the gossip would be something else. Oh, yeah, Chaz, yeah. but you don't want to be uh, the wrong side at Kane, you know. He's a tough lad, is Kane. Think Kane and I might get on rather well. <laughs> People might say, hey, hey, Scotty, I, I had the other day, between thee and me, Kane's a bit scared of thee. It's not a horror movie. It's a comedy. Oh, yes, I've got you now, Bob. Fair enough. There we go. It doesn't sound too funny. Uh, now, Samth, every pick man, you'll have to just go away and grow up. Yep, we don't do your stuff on here. That's fantastic. Now, there we go. Man, you're living on my For You page. Greetings from Germany. Star. Yeah, ja, guten Tag. And ich Deutsch sprechen, ich bin ein Auslander, ich verstehen. Lovely to have you with us. Yeah, yeah. Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Hello, Scott, it's me again. Random kid, we love you. Hi from Northumberland. Oh, well, it's lovely to have you with us. I'll tell you that. How's Wallace? Uh, stars, thank you for your lovely TikToks. You all have to visit Scotland. Ich selber, I think so. Uh, did you work for today's favourite radio? Today's favourite radio. Which one is that, Jonathan? So you appreciate bad jokes. No, 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 no. Not bad jokes. Dad jokes. Every joke is good. It just depends on your audience. What do you call a woman in between two buildings? Alain. <laughs> we love it. Thank you very much, Eddie boy. Hi from Northumberland. Eh? We love Northumberland. It's beautiful, that. Ah, uh, you're not funny. Uh, or random, sorry. Uh, Samantha's not funny. No, no. He's gone, I think. I wouldn't worry. Do you think lockdown will end this year? Either this year or next year or the year after. It's bound to end at some point. You know, otherwise we'll have forgotten why we've done it. Farewell to the land is beautiful. Have you uh, heard it, Sue? Did you go and get it? The Scotty McClue YouTube guys. Could at least one of you go and subscribe to the channel? Now, don't tell anybody about Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. We've kept it a secret for 11 years. Only 2,500 people know about it. So you must promise to keep Stum. But it's a very, very beautiful place to be, the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. And you'll get the link. The URL is staring you in the face right beside my bio. Do you see it? In black. Now, that's a hyperlink. As soon as you tap that, it'll take you to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. But you must keep it a secret. <coughs> there we are. And put in, farewell to the land. <coughs> Leslie saw Ella today. She was able to hold her today. Oh, 
Mr. Larry, this is wonderful news. I thank you. The nation thanks you. The world thanks you. And we send love to Glesney and we, Ella, and to you. There we are. The world will never forget the Wales win of the Euro in 2020 against Turkey 2-0. Ooh, uh, it'll maybe come back to me. Yes, indeed. Good afternoon, Scotty. Good afternoon, Simon. How are you, Simon the Canadian? My uncle has sepsis and has three days. Hopefully, Ross, they will turn that round. Who is the man behind you? That's Scotty McClure and Lord Reith the Labrador. <laughs> Scotty, uh, tell John to get us back in the EU. Yes, get us back into the EU. That Brexit thing's caused absolute hell. Evening, Captain Birdseye. I'm the real William Wallace. Mm. Yes. Um, what, what, what's, what's, what's the doctor said about that? <laughs> they'll soon get that nonsense out of your head where you are. Hello from Whitby Mush. We love Whitby. Whitby Abbey. Uh, Glasgow's still got the Alhambra Theatre, the Alhambra. No, it's not down. It's now got Alhambra House. That houses economic planning, I think it is. There we are. You're a bundle of positive energy. Bob, I thank you so much. You too, la. There we are. Where does Dracula keep his money? In a blood bank. <laughs> you know? Where does he keep his steak? <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. <laughs> Maybe he's got a steak in the blood bank with garlic. Have a great day. What tree fits into your hand? A palm tree. Oh. Thank you, Scotty. I've listened many times. Ah, Sue, bless you. Uh, Sue, have you listened to the novel I wrote for you? Deliver Us From Evil. You'll get that on the YouTube channel as well. But don't tell anybody about Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. It's the world's best kept secret. So there we are. Fantastic. Can you do a Boris Johnson impression? Well, uh, you know, <laughs> no. Well, you see, the problem we have here, I don't, I, you don't want to hear all this stuff. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all kind of old hat. We're, we're moving on. We've got Brexit done. And, and, uh, and I think we're doing jolly well. Everything's excellent. Really fast class. And I just want to say a huge thank you. Not at all, Mr. Larry. A huge thank you to you for keeping us in touch because these viewers, as you know, are scattered all over the globe, you know, and so is the Scottish diaspora. I mean, there was a discussion today about should people who don't live in Scotland but are Scottish be allowed to vote in the uh, Scottish elections? Now, there's a thought, you see, to vote uh, for uh, in independence. Mr. Larrick is a big softy. Yes, indeed. And I'm not surprised. But he's a very fine engineer and boat builder. Are you familiar with my favorite, the gardener? Have you come across the gardener? I'm from Uzbekistan. I love learning about Scottish culture from this channel. Gobel. You are so welcome. We will go and talk everything. We are learning from you, you see. It works both ways, chum. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What make is your hat, Scotty? Hogs of Fife, Craig. Look them up. Wonderful. Hello from Irish. Hello, Irish. Aaron, how are you now there? Top of the evening to you, I say. Fantastic stuff. Scotty, do you like the fields of Athen Rye? Yes, I do, Eddie boy. It breaks my heart when I hear the words. <clears throat> I heard the gods calling. Michael, they have taken you away. For your start rebellion's corn. So the young might see the morn. Now a prison ship lies waiting in the bay. Low lie 
the fields of Athenry. Stop, I say. No, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful song. A uh, good guy, bad secret keeper, Bob. Now, come on, Bob, you're one of us. Don't be letting cat out bag, as we say in Yorkshire. Don't be telling everybody about Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. We've kept it secret up to now. Two and a half thousands, all that's seen it. Well, no, it's actually not true. 600,000 have seen it if, the last time I looked. But two and a half thousands, all that subscribe. So maybe that's all they feel McClue's worth, you know, after uh, after 29 years. <laughs> You're looking great. Uh, now, what do we got here? Dinky do I really like your cap. I thank you very much. Your eyes, wow, says RV. Aren't you kind? I've listened to that too. I want to know the next chapter. Pick up your pen and write. Sue, I've written. I just haven't recorded it yet. And a top agent said to me, he said, Scotty, this is great stuff. Have you any more? <laughs> Are you hearing me? Uh, no, we're not hearing you, RKV. We're reading you. You're great. I thank you, RKV. Uh, now, what have we got here? Is Inverness real or did someone just make... Now, we do... Cobell, stop. Stop. Inver means mouth of. Ness is the name of the river. Inver, Ness, mouth of the river, Ness. Capiche? Excellent. Uh, I'll save your gear. Fantastic. We've got uh, a stem gear and a headgear, which is marvelous. I'm wearing the headgear. <laughs> See what I just did there? I'll save your heart. I thank you so much. Did you hear about the first restaurant to open in the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. Whoa! Mr. Lerwick, we love it. Thank you. Once Mrs. Lerwick comes back, I'll tell her you told that. There you are. Now, um, are you a singer? Um, a, a singer. We used to have a lovely, lovely car called a singer. A singer Vogue. Singer sewing machines. Remember singer machines? You're a good chanter, Scotty. No, Eddie boy, that was that was nothing. I haven't cleared the pipes for years your voice is so beautiful i thank you rkv hello mr McClure. how was your day why do cows have hooves instead of feet because they lack toes lack toes i see what you just did there shakarone we love it what does dinky do mean dinky do nathan means is all well with you and the world Beautiful. Thank you, RKV, your voice. Can you say hello to my uncle? Satan hates you, but Jesus loves you. Well, Satan needs to learn not to hate because he's shutting off an avenue of learning. Satan just needs to say the game's up and just die off. Thank you so much. You're reading my message. Not at all. Capito, capito. You're very funny. I thank you very much. I've become your huge fan. RKV, bless you. Caro amico mio. Ah, caro amico mio. Hola, Signor Maclou. Hola, mi lamo. Scotty Maclou. Mi clamo. Uh, I'm Scottish too. Finally, somebody Scottish. Finally. Nathan, I know what you mean. High quality Scottish broadcasters are few and far between, I believe. Oh, it's the gentleman caller, Shan himself. Dinky do. <coughs> now then, how do you make a pool table laugh? I don't think I'll tell that one, Mr. Larry. <laughs> now then, uh, how can I get in contact with you? I'm very excited. RKVO, you'll see on the internet. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on YouTube. LinkedIn, all these things, guys. Right, I've got the squeeze box for you. <coughs> are we ready? Okay. What are we having tonight?
How's that, guys? I'm reaching for you. Just to say good night and God bless. All in the squeeze box. Now then. <clears throat> Who's behind you? That's Scotty McLuhan, Lord Reith the Labrador. Thank you, Scotty. Long time no see from Armagh. We love you in Armagh. How amazing are you? Lovely. Thank you, Dr. Plum. Thank you, do. A wee clap. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. Bless you all. You're beautiful, beautiful people. Right. I think it's time I wasn't here. What a wonderful thing tonight. Love you. RKV. Thank you. Ti amo. Si. Si. Ti amo. Yes. Bravo. Bravo. Bella, bella, bellissimo. Is the Falkirk wheel a time machine? No, I'm a time machine. Scotty McClue is a time machine just for you, saying dinky-doo. Guys, I have to push off. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Love to Mr. Lerwick. Pass on love and blessings to Mrs. Lerwick. We hope she gets strong and well. And to little Ella. And uh, all of us here on TikTok Live say dinky do to every single one of you from me, Scotty McClue. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? <clears throat> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita thing. Au revoir and a cheery o. Arrivederci, RKV. Thank you, Maria Knight, for your beautiful good nights. Eleven tonight rather than ten. You're very, very generous, kind lady. I say thank you. Bella, bellissimo, bravo, bravissimo. I await your email. God blessings forever. RKV, you take great care of your wonderful self. Uh, that's it, folks. So uh, we say, Buenas noches. <laughs> Buenas noches. And dinky-doo from me, Scotty McLean. ta la -las. <laughs>